<laughs> oh, great council, I beseech your wisdom. Yeah, yeah what, do you, what want? do you want? Kind of expected something a bit more like mystical and, and important sounding than it's a bit casual, great council. Look, Look you're, you're interrupting, interrupting our, meeting. our meeting. It's, well, what was your meeting about? You don't get to know more. Oh, sorry. I thought maybe I could be included, oh, animals of the mountain. What, what are, are you, you, an animal, animal of the mountain? mountain? I could be. Could I move there? No. Oh, is it even possible for one of you to talk at once? Yes. Which, which, which one of you was that? If you, you don't, don't know, know, you don't, don't get, get to, to know. know. It was eyebrow piggy, wasn't it? You don't know I have eyebrows. This could be paint. Uh, is it paint? Have you painted eyebrows on your little, little pork bacon on legs? No, that guy did. Oh, the song collector. Why would you do that, song collector? I'm sorry, I just, I, I really like money. I paid him to do it. Wait, you what? I, I paid, paid him, him to, to do, do it. it. He paid him to do it, apparently. Who paid who to do what? I'm really lost on the nuance of this gathering of animals. Well, it seems like the pig wanted the eyebrows. So the pig painted the song collector. Well, then what are you even doing here, Con? Oh, I'm the newest member. You're not part of the uh, Council of Animals. Yeah, I am. Look, the, the kites above represent the council. There's always been four kites and three animals. They needed a fourth member. So you're a cat. Correct. <laughs> Mal for me. Mal. Wow. Anyway, look, I feel like I've lost the point here. I really don't want to hunt the worst, most boring monster in existence, please. You, you came, came here, here with, with a question, question but, you but you never, never asked, asked the question. question and now you, and have, now a you have a request? Sorry. I really don't want to hunt the most boring, bad monster, please? No. No! I am now also on the council. <laughs> because you stand here does not make you a part of the council. No. That's how it works. It's geographical. I don't believe so. Otherwise, the council would end when we move. I mean, it does, isn't it? Because you go home and you're no longer farming the council. We're still council, council members. members. Anyway, shall we? Yes. Why did you say it like that? Because I don't know how to feel. Please disconnect from the council and come hunt with me. It's hard. It's geographical. I told you it was geographical. Why is your sword so long? Like, I know it's a long sword, but like... Good lord. Yeah, I am standing on an elevated plane and it's still puncturing the floor. Yeah, it's still just going. It's still, it's in the floor again. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Glowing little long ass halo sword ninja. All right, cold season daytime. That's me. <laughs> I love that detective show. The name's Susan. Daytime. Cold. Cold daytime in the season. And I will murder your cakes. What? It's a detective. It's a detective phrase. His catchphrase is... I will murder your cake? I will murder your cake. Yeah. No, not cake. How do you murder a cake? Eat again, I guess. I mean, it has to be alive to be good. You can't murder a not alive, never alive, would never be alive So then thing. what did you say? The only way you can murder a cake is by paying a scientist to make it sentient and then killing it. But that just seems like a waste of money and time. Then what did you say? Case. Case. Like case. Like criminal... Crim... Crim... crim criminal case like case oh, i'm sorry how does the same logic not apply to that then because like it's an expression like oh i could i could i could murder a cup of tea right now you know so why are you complaining about murdering cake because cake's not tea neither is a case unless you have a unless you have a slice of cake with tea which does pair very well there so. are tea cakes there are oh my god no my mind is expanded Beyond what I thought could be possible. Well, so that's a really big bullfang. It's a really, really big bullfang. It's gonna stop. Right? He actually did just stop. What? Why was he like? Oh shit! He actually called my bluff. Oh man, I'm a little bit scared of this guy now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, behold! Oh no! For some reason, what? in their infinite wisdom, with eight choices for exotic species, they chose Oregon. Lovely. And wonderful, right? Isn't it great? Isn't that so cool? Isn't it so cool and great? It's a it's a choice. Okay, that was that was <laughs> Sorry, did he mean to do that? Sorry, what? Did he just flying backwards upside down leap? Fair enough, I guess. Okay, that's alright. That's that's he's got he's got big earthquake action. Maybe he'll be a good fight. You never know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I've never thought his fight was that bad. I just don't like him as a monster. No, he's just, yeah, he's just a bit, a bit ugly. Well, that's the thing is, like, I love his moveset as, like, conceptually, yeah. Like, I love the whole rolling around. <laughs> okay, I love his backwards dolphin type slap. Yeah, good. Now, that's a move that's worth calling out with eccentric text on screen. Backwards dolphin type slap! And then you need to, after I say it, go, <gasps> you know, like you're reacting to an ancient technique you've never seen before. I can't do it. I can't do it. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? 
ready? I can't do that. Are you ready? Are you ready? I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's killing it's okay. me. Okay, I didn't hit you with the backwards dolphin dive slam, man. You're okay. <laughs> I don't believe you. What is he doing? He leaves a little explosive trail. Okay. That's Aceborn. Oh, yay. That did no, that's Frontier, I guess. I, I didn't say that came from Aceborn. Well, the more you know, the less you have to learn. Logically true. That's a lot of balls. And now I'm on fire because they were some hot balls. Yeah, all his balls are hot. It's just sort of part of the whole thing. That's a weird Oregon situation. He's about to he's about to gas. He's about to gas. He gassed, I slipped, and then I'm boom. It's more like he was chitting. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna say good. I'll say good. I mean, I don't have a cold drink, but I'm sort of just vampirisming through that problem. I thought you were gonna say vampirism. That was what I said. Oh yeah, you did say vampirism. Oh, I was correct. I, I correctly guessed what you Ah oh, um, Okay. What the fuck? That was alright. What is happening? Why does he just get a combo that basically kills you? That's ridiculous. He just did so many explosions. And I'm dead. How are you dead? Because I got hit by the same thing you did, and then he targeted me with the next attack. Uh, I would have invested into dodging. Yeah, I would have done that if I thought he was going to hit me. How dare they make Uragan an intense fight? I think that's against some sort of code. Yeah, I don't think this is intense. I mean, I die, but that doesn't make it intense. <laughs> okay, buddy. Wait, what? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is this? He's like rolling into the ground and it's like a vacuum suction! Excuse me, that's so cool! What? What? What the fuck? Excuse me? He has a one shot! That's cool. Cool? Well, I mean, I wasn't there, so I have to assume. Excuse me? How does that even work on a. like physically? Like, that's not how vacuums are made. Uh, I assume it's what's happening again for me now. Is there a lot of spinning and a ball and yeah. wind and pulling? I've just I've just run away, honestly. It seems like the correct choice. Are you going to leave the zone? No, I just ran. Oh, okay. Did you survive? Yeah, it was really easy, actually. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> As it turns out, there's this mechanic that we have with our weapons in Frontier where we can sprint while unsheathed, and I just walked away. I was chain, I was chain dolphin diving, and it still pulled me into it, so I was just ruined. What is yeah, that? Yeah, I think that's your mistake, is you can get pulled while you're on the floor. Oh, okay. That's the up-down explosion combo. Correct. I'm just being beaten up by crabs in a corner right now. Isn't that like your dream? No, being beaten up by crabs isn't a dream. Oh, what what, what do the crabs do in your dream? D die? You dream about crabs dying. You don't? That seems like something that you could bring up with your therapist. Yeah, I mean, my therapist is a crab. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, it doesn't seem like a wise idea. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a crab! Hey! Hey, a crab! Hey! Hey, a crab! <laughs> hey, a crab! A crab therapist would be a great therapist. Why? Because he could snip the problem. Do, do you get it? Yeah, it's a joke, I guess. What are you doing? What, what was the Cenotar doing? Why did it just circle me three times at lightning speed? It's just preparing to hurt, hurt you. You know, I actually, I, I, think he's, I think he's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good fight. I mean, I like regular Uragon, so this isn't bad. You're so weird. I like watermelon Uragon. That's my Uragon. As we said earlier, I'm talking about his fight, not him physically. And they haven't made him physically better. <laughs> We should just be over here and insulting him like this. Well, I mean, it's not like we're doing it behind his back. We're doing it, like, on top of his Then back. again, anyway. if you can't understand what we're saying, is there really anything wrong with insulting him? Actually, no, that would imply that if you speak a different language from someone else, you can just stand there insulting them even if they don't understand what you're saying. Well, whenever I hear someone speaking another language while they're looking at me, I assume they're insulting me. Well, what I like to do is... Uh-huh. When there's a group of people speaking another language and they kind of look at you and then, you know, like they laugh. It, uh, it doesn't happen to me often, but sure. Oh, everywhere I go, people speak in foreign language and laugh at me. Right. I thought that was normal. Is that not normal? Uh, I guess it depends who you are. No! No! Oh, there's a maximum range for that. No! I'm just doing fine. No! No! Really, really no! Definitely... That's unfortunate. I'm so dead. That one seems to not treat you well. I can confirm extreme running doesn't escape the suction. Didn't give me any issues. I think you were just already out of range when he started. No, he did suck me in a little bit. <laughs> See, what seems to happen is the suction isn't, like, consistent in all directions. It moves around him in a cone. So just move the direction that it's coming from so that it doesn't suck you as long. <laughs> Please stop talking. Anyway, as I was saying, when someone speaks a foreign language and looks at you and laughs, you just need to laugh at the same time, and then it implies that you understood what they said, and it creeps them out a I mean, and if they weren't talking about you, you're just creepy. <laughs> Imagine if they weren't talking! That's still quite funny! Is it, though? Well, maybe you just found what they were saying funny, you know? That's allowed. You're allowed to laugh at other people being funny. And then they'll say something to you, and you'll you'll just stare at them, because you won't know what they're saying. Or you'll come across as stoic and mysterious. You lead an interesting brain life. 
Were those explosions in game? What explosions? The huge explosions. I didn't hear any explosions. Big explosions. Like they were really loud. I know what the word explosion means. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm hearing fireworks. I think now that I now that I mention it. Either it's fireworks or I don't have long left in this world, so if I suddenly go dark, if you know why. The thing that you hear before death is just explosions in your head, then at least it's a good warning. Explosions in my head. That's my superpower. It's not a good superpower. Why? What if I could transmit the explosions in my head out of my head, and then they would explode on people? You just create explosions. Incoming! Ooh, okay. Almost ran into traffic, as they say. Nobody says that. That classic expression, you know? Like, oh, I was having a lovely day, but then I almost ran into traffic. It sounds like you're still fine if it was just an almost. Actually, no, people do say into in traffic. Like, oh, I'm late because I ran into traffic. That's a thing. I've never heard run into traffic. Generally, you drive into traffic. You don't want to walk into traffic because then you're more likely to get hit by the traffic. Well, if you run into traffic, you're even more likely to get hit by the traffic because you're moving faster and still without a car. But you're less likely because you're moving faster, so you're less time in the road. So I guess it maybe it balances it well, out. Well, no, because if you're walking, the cars have more of a chance okay, of seeing you. Okay, if I you kidnapped and you down. and paid you, which is a weird combination of things to happen. <laughs> That is a weird thing. <laughs> We've taken your hostage to give you a salary. Please, don't give me salary. If I took you to a road and said you got to go to the other side of the road, okay. or I will break your legs, are you going to... Okay. What's your, what's your technique? Look both ways and then cross the road. <laughs> Okay, no, but it's like one of those one of those big roads where it's just constant, like, cars. Motorway, that's the one. Just constant. There's no gaps. Like, no normal gap. You know, you can't just wait and cross peacefully, you know. You will definitely have to deal with okay. cars. All right, then my technique is I pick you up and throw you into the road. That's... I don't think that's... I don't think that's a vibe. That's not... That's against the rules. You don't get your celery if you do that. I don't want the celery. I want my body. <laughs> Well, why don't you pick yourself up and throw yourself across the road? I'm not trying to throw you past the cars. <laughs> okay, but do you walk or do you run? Jesus! I don't know. I've, I've not been in this situation. Jesus was the third option. Do you walk or do you run or do you Jesus? I Jesus. I float above the cars. <laughs> Everyone driving past is like, whoa, that's Jesus! Known for we car can't hit him. <laughs> You can't hit him! Imagine being the car that ran down Jesus. Finally, after all this time, Jesus is reborn and instantly hit by a car because he doesn't know what they are. That would totally happen! <laughs> that would be such a funny intro for like a spoof movie! Turns out, Jesus is actually real and he's come back and he immediately steps into a road and gets run over! <laughs> it happens to the best of us. To be fair, that would happen to anyone brought back from not today. Or anyone just from another planet, you know? Cars aren't universal. I imagine modes of transport are, though. Well, the concept is. And fast, big, moving objects would probably trigger some sort of bad response. This reminds me of the Hitchhiker's Galaxy joke, where the guy, guy comes to the planet, first thing he sees a car, he thinks it's the dominant form of life, so he just walks up and starts to shake its hand. Oh, yeah. No. No, 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 no. You need, you need to stop just going close to Ow. it, I think. Ow, I just got I put in the ground! It. Get up. Help me! Thank you. Thank you for popping me out the ground. I'm playing whack-a-mole. I am whack-a-mole? You're playing whack-a-mole. I'm playing whack-a-mole. I am whack-a-mole is a very different movie! I am whack-a-mole. I am whack-a-mole! <laughs> In the distant future, humanity has been wiped out and turned into whack-a-mole moles, but one man is immune. Also, whack-a-mole just sounds like somebody with a really bad time trying to pronou pronounce the word guacamole. <laughs> Would you like whack-a-mole on that? I yes. love some whack-a-mole. <laughs> Give me some whack-a-mole, please. I'd like extra whack-a-mole. Oh, shit. Oh, he pulled me into it even with the extreme run. Yep. Why did it work the other times? And now I lay dead and die. That's unfortunate for everyone. In that order. Oh, okay. I died, came back to life, and died again. Well, no, you, you were dead, then you died. Come on, loading screen. Ah! That would be a much different experience if that had become the standard for No game. visual component, just a screen that slowly fades it. No visual yeah. component. Every time you transition to an area, a black screen and... Ah! That was quite goat-like. I, I think it was pretty human-like, too. Why don't you understand my goats? So I'm not a goat. Do you, do you like to be? I don't know. What's a goat's life like? You can climb cliffs and you can eat grass and you've got eyes that are horizontal. Technically I could do all of those things. You can't climb sheer cliffs alright? You're not a goat. You didn't say sheer. I mean sheer. I can if I had the right equipment. Like like being a goat? I mean a goat has the right equipment. I love goat equipment. Okay. You know like a goat's equipment? I, I can't say I've perused a goat's equipment. Oh well you should. It's very enjoyable equipment. 
Goat's cheese. That is, in fact, a thing that's made from goat stuff. It's one, one of my favorite cheeses, so that's the thing you could do if you were a goat. Okay. I mean, there's lots of different kinds of cheeses that you can make from a goat, so... Well, I mean, they're all technically goat's cheese. cheese. Well, yeah, but it's like saying, cow's cheese. That's I love fun. cow's cheese! It's not something I expected to be yelling enthusiastically today, <laughs> but but I just wanted to know. I mean, that's something that people yell every day. It's not that weird. Uh, that's why I wanted to become a cheese farmer, because I love <laughs> cow's cheese. I, I, I think that's a bit too specific. You'd probably be more of a dairy farmer. No, I'm a cheese farmer. I only believe in cheese. Oh, okay. I think you well, have to do more than believe in it to farm. No, it's a, it's. A, I'm pretty sure it's a faith-based profession, cheese farming. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you gotta believe in the cheese. You gotta love the cheese. You gotta need the cheese. Need like require need it, not need it like bread. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not how you make cheese. I mean, are you are you a cheese farmer? No, but that's because you don't farm cheese. Imagine if cheese was grown. I mean, it sort of is if you want to be technical. <laughs> I guess that's true. Well, then you could say, like, meat's grown. No, I, I mean in the sense that cheese is just milk that's been left out for a long time. I guess that's true. Well, it's not been left out. It's been churned and curdled. They don't just put a slab of, like, milk in the sun and wait for it to become cheese. There's machines and processes. Yeah, there's machines to speed it up, but it's, it's, it's the same general concept. Like, you need a bit of acid to curdle it. Won't do that by itself. And then you leave it out. The fact that there are cheeses that are like, I mean, I not just not right just now. deliberately oh. like bacteriaed to take take them where they are, and they like moldy cheese, like blue cheese. But there's cheeses yeah. that people deliberately put maggots in to air quotes here enhance the flavor. I mean, that's that's just, why don't you just eat maggots then if that enhances flavor? No, you don't eat the maggots. The, the maggots eating the cheese supposedly makes the cheese tasty. You get rid of the maggots before you eat the cheese. But like, that why would you want that? Seems like way too much effort. You could just eat two loaves of cheese at that time. Loaves? Loaves of cheese? Well, yeah, you wanted to knead the cheese earlier, so it's bread. I do like it when my cheese is bread. Well, you're a cheese farmer, so you gotta know all about breeding cheese. <laughs> it's really hard to breed cheese. Oh, that was perfectly timed. I did a rappel as he was landing on my face. Well, so far, so good. Well, it's because he's not done the thing that's a problem yet. Yeah, we need to find out if... <laughs> Why did I just zoom into the fire gas like this won't affect me? <laughs> Oh, God. Well, I guess the main thing is, as long as you have, like, three bars of magnet juice, you can just spam repel, so every time you get close, you can Sorry, leave. magnet juice? Well, what would you call it? Magnet juice. That's right. <laughs> I'm a magnet farmer. It's a very polarizing profession. <laughs> it occurs to me we should probably be in blood <laughs> mode. <laughs> ah, we should against Uragan. We should against Uragan. I achieved my weapon. Oh, okay, so as long as you're like moderately far away, it's all cool. Yeah, and if it doesn't just aim the vacuum at you, like that point, it didn't aim the vacuum. God, at either yeah, look, of us. the rocks are just turning around in like a like a sprinkler. It's like a sprinkler of rocks. It's a very cool attack. It is quite cool. It's also quite bullshit. <laughs> so you just described frontier. Yeah, pretty much. I won't disagree with that. I'm locking him down. Go for the kill, Cotton. Smack him. A suplex. Big ball of death. I think mine was a nice. superior call. Well, I mean, maybe it was a better move, but I still think suplex is a better name than ball of death. I don't know. You could call a suplex a ball of death. Oh, no. He's, uh, he's doing it again. Oh, I reflected into the other zone. I'm so good at I this mean, game. <laughs> Behold my glory and tremble in, gl in glory and no glory. You stopped. You can you can come back now. Okay, cool. Thank you. I, I was You're about to be sitting stuff. there like a scared little baby talking about how glorious you are. <laughs> <laughs> Behold my little baby glory! God, it's amazing, that magnet spike difference. Yeah, it just sort of, like, trivializes attacks because it has movement in a way that no other weapon hey, in the game does. you have to think about when to press the buttons. <laughs> the button that you can press whenever you want to. <laughs> you, have to th you might not press it at some point, you know? You might choose to, to not... Press you, the you could choose to not do it actively if you wanted it to be harder. Oh, he's on the floor. Oh no, Oregon. <laughs> uh, he's dead. <laughs> so dumb. Oh no, Oregon. That was mean and sad in equal measure. Just like our previous attempts were to us. Can you not monster house in? It's just sort of small. Okay, yeah, it was, took me a, 
Oh, inside Aragon mouth is really terrifying. <laughs> and a very like, investigative documentary. Inside the Aragon mouth. I mean, you seem tiny to me. That's why it's such trouble making a house out of him. God, no! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? No! Got it! I'm my sorry. antivirus has decided that this game is currently a threat. I shouldn't have held your hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, that is Uragon of Exotic Nature. And apparently in his dying throes, he's infected Cotton's computer with a deadly virus. Uh. How does it feel to get biologically warfare, sucker? Painful sucker. Painful sucker. Like a lollipop with razor blades in it. Anyway, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and welcome all. Consider this one of the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a oh god bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.